Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Investing Explained. Here's today's question. It sounds like that first deal is important. And I've heard you talk about this law of the first deal idea. And it's a concept that I actually talk about a bit as well. But for those who haven't heard of this law before, please explain what it is and also why you think it holds true. Yeah, it's interesting. So first, let me observe the law. And I'll give you some speculation about why it holds true. But the observing is that in the multifamilies, first of all, in my opinion, investing in apartments is the most direct route to financial freedom. Of all the stuff I've ever done, most direct, most replicatable, most learnable for the average person in the world, regardless of their background, experience, money, or the lack thereof. And so what I observed is that you know the first deal was this pivotal point where up to that first deal, the first deal is always the smallest, takes the longest, is the hardest. It's kind of a struggle. And then once that person closes that deal, they're literally away a year away or less from quitting their job. And it's because the second and third follow in rapid, almost automatic succession. You'd have to expend more energy to not do the second deal. In fact, some people have tried and failed. It just comes to you. It's like this: there's a switch in the universe that flips on where all of a sudden you become a deal and a money magnet. Now, the reason why I think this is is because brokers typically they try to you know they deal a lot with a lot of tire kickers. So when someone new calls and they try to get you off the phone. And if you sound like a newbie, they'll ask you for proof of funds so you go away. And so sometimes some people don't take you seriously. Also, potential investors might say, you know what? I'm not so sure you're kind of a newbie. I'm just going to wait till you, you know, get some track record. Now, once you get that track record, an amazing thing happens. All these investors that were on the fence missed out on the first deal, which obviously worked well. And they're like, oh, I'm like, I better get myself a second deal because he's going to be subscribed. And all of a sudden, brokers that never return your phone call, all of a sudden are calling you for some off-market or semi-off-market deal. And it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And, and people really, while I talk about it a lot, they can't really understand it until it happens to them. And it happens when I have podcast guests on, on my show and I ask them because, my gosh, I, I know you talk about it, but I didn't actually believe it until it happened to me. And yeah, I think that's, that's it. And this is why the reason this is important is because it simplifies the problematic of financial freedom to just one thing. You know, the Gary Keller book, the one thing, just get one deal done. And the beautiful thing about it, there's no correlation to size of deal either. Even people who have done a duplex literally quit their job in a year because it's a progression. It's normally like, let's say you, you start with a duplex. It normally goes 10, it goes 2, 10, 25 plus at that point. If you start at a 25, it goes 50 and then plus. So it's always a step up. Why is that? It's because your, your confidence goes, goes up. Your track record is higher. That attracts bigger deals. Your comfort zone expands. All those things contribute to progressively larger deals. In single family houses, even if your comfort zone expands, you can only ever do one house. So it doesn't, the effect of that is not them. Yes, you can flip more houses, but the effect is limited by the sheer fact that it's just a single house that you're, and you don't have that issue on the apartments. That's all for this episode of Real Estate Investing Explained. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or subscribe to our YouTube channel to get even more free content.